Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this weather community. I want to get right to what we've got going on with a tropical wave moving in and what's left of barrel. I'll get into that in a moment as it zooms to the north. Few clouds around, a couple showers nearby Jamaica. That's with our new tropical wave moving in. Hard to see here, uh, but a lot of us have had the thunderstorms the last two days. Tropical wave here. Let me show you this map just to kind of set the stage on where these tropical waves are. These tropical waves, these are not ocean waves. These are above our heads rain and storms and there are those impulses those clusters of rain and storms that roll off the coast of Africa because of the global trade winds work across the Atlantic and work in this is the one I was concerned about and I was talking about days ago for that flooding risk and we've had quite a bit of flooding in some areas of Central America we don't need a name system to have that happen across the Caribbean and through Central America and here's that next tropical wave as this approaches Jamaica we're going to start to see the rain chance going up Haiti the Dominican Republic Republic, even parts of Puerto Rico, scattered showers and storms. May see a stray shower in the ABC Islands. Not a lot, not enough. So kind of zooming down here, you see some scattered clouds around as we get some of the daytime heating. That does enhance the uh, tropical wave and we'll get some of those thunderstorms rolling in. Isolated areas of flooding uh, with these uh, showers and storms. Back end of it, we still need to get more rain. Northeastern Caribbean, kind of a teaser for some of us in the U.S. and British Virgin Islands yesterday. Some of us had rain, but others didn't. And then we swing down toward the Southeast uh, Caribbean, Dominica, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. And near Martinique, you see a couple showers sitting uh, very close to the uh, coast. Trinidad and Tobago, some scattered showers possible today. Uh, I'll get into that in a moment. Now what's going on with this tropical wave is the new one uh, crossing the Caribbean. I'm not seeing any signs of development and here's one of the reasons why. You see here's Cuba. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, here's Belize, just to orient you, Haiti right here. This area here, dry air and some dust around, that uh, orange and yellow shading you're seeing there. And we also have some dust starting to work into the Eastern Caribbean, so there's a lot of dry air. During the hurricane season, you get impulses, periods of dry air, uh, per periods of uh, air that has a lot more moisture in it, just kind of these cycles. By the end of this month, so a couple weeks from now, we are going to see a surge of moisture around and that's why I expect development and potentially the next name system to happen more toward the end of the uh, month because uh, the atmosphere is going to be conducive for some development at that point. Here's what's left of Barrel thinking of our friends over toward Texas uh, dealing with uh, the uh, aftermath of Barrel. I'll show you how that kind of scoots up to the north. Now let me get you back here. This is across the uh, Caribbean as a whole back through the Gulf of Mexico. The seven day temperature trend in the water. I've been showing you this map. Let me show you a good comparison though. You see a lot of the blue in here, because of barrel that has dropped some of the water temperatures uh, as it has passed by. You get that upwelling, you get a little drop in the temperatures. But with that said, it's not a whole lot. Temperatures have started out so warm in the water. Coming off the winter, they didn't drop nearly what we uh, typically see. So this is overall versus average. You see much of the Caribbean running still well above average. Little cool pocket here. There's a few little areas of some below average temperatures and especially around the uh, Yucatan Pen uh, Peninsula. You get anywhere from uh, anywhere from Cancun kind of swinging around the Horn over toward Merida. You see a cooler pocket here in the wake of Barrel and we had Alberto in briefly Tropical Storm Chris which briefly formed for about a day in the uh, Bay of Campeche. And here are those water temperatures. See parts of the Gulf of Mexico, 30, 31 degrees Celsius, 86 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Still super warm in some spots. This is where it's dropped off a bit, but we're still running about 28, 29 degrees uh, Celsius or about 84 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So clearly still warm enough. It is July watching those water temperatures, but in particular right now watching what's going on in the atmosphere with some dust, some dry air in that next surge of moisture that will be moving our way later this month. Now the the tropical wave starts to work in. So Haiti and the Dominican Republic scattered storms today. Still watching out for scattered to widespread rain and storms. Panama over toward Costa Rica. Panama Canal, we've been doing a little bit better with some of the increased rain. This is uh, tomorrow on our Wednesday. Scattered rain and storms, Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. And we will get an uptick on Thursday near Jamaica and eastern Cuba. This isn't a big time tropical wave, but this time of year, if you do get a storm, it could be on the strong side. And then look at this. Let me go out a little bit uh, more so toward the end of the week. This is 
Friday. I'm going to be watching this. There are some signs we'll get a bigger surge of moisture near Honduras, Nicaragua. That'll be possible. Costa Rica, Panama may kind of build back toward Guatemala and El Salvador. Still kind of active near Belize. Belize, we're going to have those scattered showers and storms around through the uh, Yucatan. I'll get into that in just a moment. But a buildup of moisture here. Not seeing signs of development, but I'll watch that area. And then we'll watch another tropical wave that'll move in later this week in the Eastern Caribbean. So Barbados, Dominica, St. Lucia, we could get a better chance of some scattered showers and storms late this week into the upcoming weekend. Now looking at the uh, wave heights, as these tropical waves continue to move across, things are a bit bumpier central in Western Caribbean and even over toward uh, some of the uh, Atlantic waters as we jump over just off to the uh, east of us. Nothing crazy, but I did want to show you this. This is by the time we get into tomorrow, generally the same thing. Some elevated uh, conditions in the uh, water, especially south of Jamaica and south of the Cayman Islands. Then by the end of the week, we're going to see what's left of barrel tying in with the front. So offshore waters and parts of the Atlantic. You can see things will be a bit higher. This is as we work around to Thursday and the same thing will hold from Thursday into Friday. You can see how uh, you, where these uh, green areas are showing up. That's where things will be a little bit elevated. And then by the end of the week on Friday, Turks and Caicos, uh, Southern Bahamas near Haiti, the DR in Puerto Rico, uh, over toward the Northeastern Caribbean, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda. It will get bumpier in the uh, water, so I'll monitor that. Now, the big picture I want to show you with this one tropical wave moving through here, another one here. This is what's left of a barrel. It is not a classified system. It is finally done, but it will bring some areas of flooding. It gets tied into a front as it lifts up to the uh, north. This is by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. Now going from Wednesday into Thursday, all of this action, what's left of barrel kind of pulls toward the Atlantic region of Canada. I'll zoom down in a second, but still watching this area here off the coast of uh, Colombia, uh, over toward uh, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua for a buildup of moisture. Anytime I see these surges of moisture, I track that carefully this time of year. Things can spin up in a hurry, not seeing that, but just know that I'm watching things. Now, as far as the uh, rain totals are concerned, Mexico, we're going to see a better chance of some rain and storms around the next couple days. Not so much, though, over toward uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, we'll see some scattered showers and storms. So, do you see these white? and some of these black shading showing up all the way down through Panama, even some red, which is off my chart. We're looking at some spots getting upwards of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain over just the next three days. That is going to lead to some mudslides and again, still the life-threatening flooding. We have been seeing that. Thank you for the comments. We've been seeing that the last few days. Belize, we're going to get some scattered showers and storms. If you get one, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain will be possible or even higher. Kind of dotting the map here at Cuba. Here's Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. As the tropical wave moves in, there'll be a few scattered showers and storms, but I mentioned it's not a super strong tropical wave, so it's not a guarantee we get any rain over toward Falmouth and Montego Bay, over toward Kingston. Haiti and the Dominican Republic back through, through uh, Puerto Rico, a slightly better chance, so we could see some higher totals, not, not a washout again, but if you get stuck in a storm, even over toward the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, we could get a quick uh, three inches of rain, but as we swing back through Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, Guadalupe, we're talking about a passing shower, Saba, Stacia, Montserrat, then we same thing as we get down anywhere from Dominica south through Trinidad and Tobago, a passing shower will be possible. A little bit heavier as we get over toward a Guyana and Suriname, especially interior sections of Guyana, where we're still dealing with some of those uh, flooding issues. Not quite as much as you get over toward the water. Now what's left of barrel is going to move up to, here it is right here. This is going to move up toward uh, Michigan. There is a front around the Atlantic region of Canada today. So some scattered showers and storms will be possible. The heat, a few of those could be strong. And then here are the rest remnants, the leftovers of barrel getting tied into a front. You see this, this is on our Wednesday afternoon. And then this action starts to work toward the Atlantic region of Canada. For the most part, some of it tries to uh, fizzle out, but especially southern sections, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, even over toward parts of New Brunswick, we'll see that chance, increased chance of rain in a couple days. So Jamaica, isolated showers and storms, but by Thursday, it's not a washout, but I'm putting the rain chance a little higher just because we have that tropical wave moving in. Same thing in the Cayman Islands, about a 40% chance by Thursday. If you get a storm, it could be strong. Trinidad and Tobago, ice 
isolated to scattered showers and storms, a 20 to 30 percent chance in Barbados, and about an even 30 percent chance the next three days in St. Lucia, 20 to 30 percent chance in Grenada, St. Vincent the Grenadines, isolated showers and storms possible. A lot of us will simply be staying dry. Others get a couple of those showers passing by, Martinique included, 20 to 30 percent chance in Dominica. Dominica, though, by Thursday, that rain chance will be even higher, looking at about a 30 percent chance in Guadeloupe. So you see the rain chance is not super high, but we have another tropical wave in the Atlantic, and that's why I was mentioning by the weekend we could see that rain chance getting a touch higher. Antigua and Barbuda, 20 percent chance. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat the next few days, 30 to 40 percent chance. Anguilla and St. Bart's, and about a 30 percent chance. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, 40 percent chance the next couple days in Puerto Rico. Uh, if you do get a storm, it could be strong. Otherwise, we are just so so hot. We're locked into the heat. U.S. and British Virgin Islands next two days in the Bahamas. Rain chance about 30% across the Bahamas. Otherwise, on the hot side, northern, central, and southern Bahamas. Turks and Caicos rain chance stays uh, limited. We work our way through the Dominican Republic. That's where the tropical wave is moving by today. Scattered rain and storms, isolated areas of flooding. Could get a few pockets of flooding too in Haiti, depending on some of that runoff and how these storms fire up. Belize, we're looking at a 40% chance of scattered showers the next few days. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, we have a chance. We've had a couple nearby the last few days, but the rain chance still generally on the low side. We're kind of on the tail end of the front, most of the action to the north. Guyana, mainly central sections, that chance of rain. 50% chance as we work our way towards Suriname. Isolated thunderstorms in Cuba and Cuba. Very, very hot. Costa Rica and Panama, the rain chance is bumping up again. I was showing you that. Nicaragua, same thing. If you get some rain, watching out for some additional flooding. Monitoring that flood threat in Honduras. Thank you for leaving those uh, comments. And about a 50 to 60% chance in the next several days, Guatemala and El Salvador. It is down a little bit uh, from a couple days ago. Mexico City uh, in surrounding areas, rain chance is a little higher. The Yucatan, though, not super high. Only a 30% chance for today and a 20 to 30% chance as we work our way back through Colombia and about a 30% chance in northern Venezuela. We get over toward Bermuda, generally on the dry side and uh, looking good. So we have a tropical wave in the Caribbean bringing us scattered thunderstorms. We have a tropical wave in Central America that is going to bring us more areas of flooding. There's another tropical wave, which is normal, out there in the Central Atlantic. That'll be approaching later this week and by the weekend and then eventually bump up the range chance. I'll be watching that, tracking that as you hang with me and watching out for any signs of a development and monitoring the dust. So thank you for being part of this weather community and have a great day ahead.